I hope you enjoyed the chapters on the power of your own example. And remember that God is your strength through even your weaknesses. So as you uh, are striving to be a good example in your home, remember it's through his power and strength that we can be a good example. Now we'll move on to the power of strong moral values. And you have to agree in our culture today, there are many negative influences, whether it's on the internet or on television or the music our kids listen to. We want to give our kids strength. We want to give them and point them to strong moral values, principles, principles that God has set out in his word to live by, not because he wants to be hard on us and be a difficult daddy, but because he's a loving heavenly father, because he loves us. He says, here, here is, here is the best way to live. Let me show it to you. I'll never forget growing up as we would go on long family trips in the car. My, my dad would be driving and my mom would read from the Bible. What a great opportunity for us to hear the good words of God, his loving words, his kind words, giving us principles for life. Oh, I love God's word and we want our children to love God's word. And so we want to pour that into them through reading it to them, through encouraging them, through letting them see us reading God's word. And then also through good books, good, strong literature. You know, sometimes I hear people say, oh, it just as long as our kids are reading, it doesn't matter what they're reading. Well, I, I, I tend to disagree. I think it is very important that we help our kids read good literature, literature that points them to good, strong, moral living. And so I want to encourage you to uh, be a good reader and your kids, remember, are watching and looking at what you're reading. So uh, be, be thoughtful about what you're reading and then read to them good books, books that, that strengthen their moral character. Well, I hope the pages, the next few pages are a, a great strength to you. And just remember, God gives us that anchor to live by. And most importantly, it is found through his son, Jesus, as we look to him for strength in daily living.